Hi, in this video, I want to touch on the subject of loneliness and isolation, because I know there are many people who are newly awakening as a result of their shift in consciousness, and many others who have been awake for a while who are feeling lonely and isolated. You know, many of us are shifting in consciousness. We are remembering so much and our awareness is really expanding and our vibrations are raising. And because of this, people are beginning to fall away. Jobs are falling away. We are no longer connected to the things that we were connected to before, to the people that have been around us for a while. And it's really shocking, you know, when you're not able to relate or connect or to share from your heart the beautiful things that are happening to you with the people that are closest to you. It really is a very, very lonely place to be in. It's almost like you have this secret, you know, these wonderful things are happening and you want to share them with someone, but the person that you care about the most cannot just get it. And even if you're working at a job, you no longer feel connected to that job. Of course, you used to like that job. You love that job for whatever reason, but now for some reason, you know, you're no longer feeling connected or maybe you want to change your job, but how are you going to tell other people that you are no longer just vibing with these kinds of things anymore, that you want to go a totally different direction, that you want to just be in a different space? How do you explain these things to other people? These kinds of things really make people feel lonely and isolated. And it can also be very isolating for those of us who have been keeping our awakening on the hush hush, you know, now that we have discovered this new way of being, now that we are remembering this new way of being, we want to keep it on the hush hush, you know, we don't want anyone else to find out about it because we are, we are afraid of the judgments that other people are going to have against us. And we're even afraid of that direct and clear disapproval of our path the journey that we are now choosing to take on. So it's really um, a scary place to be for many people. And trust me, I know how these things feel. Even when it comes to the work that we do, sometimes we don't even want to expose that work or put it out there because we are still caught up in the fear factor. You know, we are still caught up in that, you know, thing of my gosh, if someone found out that this is what I do on the side, or this is who I have now become. This is how I am remembering myself, that this is how I am now presenting myself, an image that is totally different from what everyone knew about me. What will people say, you know? And for some people, you know, that approval or that fear maybe of, of what people will say is really, really something that makes people really keep to themselves and keep quiet. And therefore it really, really, you know, adds the layers on that feeling of isolation and loneliness and separateness. And we truly know that loneliness is truly an illusion. It's not truth. Loneliness is a lie. It comes in to separate us from the truth of who we are when we are totally disconnected in our minds and our hearts and from the divine source, which is ever present then we feel lonely. It truly is a lie. And good thing many of us are now working to overcome the things that make us feel separate. And we are realizing that we are always forever connected. We are always forever loved and we are always forever supported. Isolation on the other hand might be very, very useful for many of us because sometimes we just need to get away from situations so that we can be with ourselves and go inside ourselves and keep remembering deeper and deeper who we truly are. You know, that aspect of isolation is something that I personally enjoy to a degree because I know that after that isolation process or after being by myself and up after completing the wholeness within me, step by step, I can go out as a really, shining bright light and magnetize to myself other people who are have also done the inner work and gone inside themselves i can always count on the fact that i can magnetize relationships that really enhance and expand who i am and who everyone else is within this beautiful family unit. It's such a beautiful thing. So isolation is something that I don't feel 
we should be afraid of because it really has wonderful benefits. And sometimes if we don't isolate ourselves by, you know, by design, the universe comes and forces us out of situations and then we feel lonely. And then we confuse loneliness and isolation. But the truth of the matter is we are never lonely. We might be as isolated, but we are always connected to source in unity. So in this video, I want to share a very simple tool, very practical that has been helpful for me. And I know that it might help other people because I tell you, after applying these same principles in my own life, I have noticed that the level of like-hearted relationships in my life have expanded and magnified it themselves in my life in a way that has truly made me happy caroline so i want to share this with you so that those who are feeling isolated or feeling that you know they are you know away from everyone else can use this tool to attract and magnetize to themselves the relationships that really really support and feed their spirits so that they too can really emerge from what they are in right now and shine their lights lights brightly to the world the lights are needed, guys. The lights are needed. And we're here to support and assist each other. So you know this is the circle. The circle really is a symbol that I love very much because it always represents wholeness and completion. So I really, really love this circle. And also within the circle, there is a focus because when you're inside the circle, you're not looking to the left or the right. Everything goes within. And this circle always represents to me or how I'm using it for this particular, you know, um, aspect of my life of attracting and magnetizing relations, relationships to me is to remember that this circle represents me, me as a whole human being, me in my wholeness, whole, mentally, emotionally, in my memory, in my heart, in my life, in my spirit, in all my bodies, me nurturing myself, me focused on my inner work and doing the work and coming out complete and whole as I truly, truly am, me remembering all these aspects of myself. And then once I have remembered this aspect of myself, I join together or magnetize with another individual in this Vesica Pisces symbol. So it's me, me being whole and this other person being whole and together we create loving relationships that really, really help us in the process of union. You know, so much has been said about this symbol of the Vesica Pisces. There's a lot of information, scientific and otherwise, much of it I have read and understood mentally, but I prefer these days to speak about the truth of how the symbols open up to me. Symbols mean many, many things, but like everything else, everything is energy and everything is frequency and everything opens up to you on the level of your awareness. So this symbol, it, may, it might mean different things to many people, but the application is just so quantum. You cannot limit the ap application of the use of a symbol to one thing. And it's really, really a good thing because our guides and our, our and, and source, and we remember, through various means, I am a dreamer and I remember a lot through dreams. Through various means, we remember how to use symbols in a way that makes sense to us. And so I wanna share one way that I have remembered to use this symbol, even though there's many other ways that I have also remembered to use this symbol. This is a symbol that I know can be used either in a grid or just by virtue of you drawing this symbol because the symbol alone projects an energy by itself into any force field of light. Anytime you have a grid, anytime you have a sacred geometrical symbol, whether or not you're really thinking consciously about it, as long as you have set the intention, the symbol projects its own force field of light to really magnetize to you the things that you have intended in your life. So symbols are such powerful tools. I'm telling you, these things are shortcuts to happiness, shortcuts to joy, shortcuts. I'm telling you, we are so loved and supported. So anyway, so this symbol of the Vesica Pisces, you as this circle, this individual circle, being whole, 
magnetizing to yourself, people, places, experiencing experiences, high vibrations or high vibration energies of whichever sort for your highest good and the good of all others and things that you want in your life and events in your life and anything else in your life in the form through the energy of love so that you can remember that you are connected. So the Vesica Pisces symbol is a symbol of union. It's a symbol that allows the one unit to connect with the other units to through love to create wonderful relationships of whichever kind, either through people, places, experiences, high vibrating things, events, so that we can keep growing and growing and growing. And this symbol, as you can see, even from the flower of life, it can really, really expand into many other things. But the starting point is you and as a whole being, which means that we all need to do our inner work. We all need to be ready for these high vibration experiences because everything we attract to ourselves is attracted on frequency. And also remember that everything that we do is always for the highest good of ourselves and the highest good of all. And these symbols can never be used for any purpose other than the highest good of light and love. We are truly, truly loving beings. The beauty of these things is that these things are high frequency tools that are used with loving intentions to assist us and to assist others. And let me just say one thing. A simple way to really make this symbol or activate this symbol is for you to come forth as that high vibration being. Be on that frequency of love and light. Imagine yourself in that frequency. And then see yourself magnetizing to yourself those people, your soul family, those places, those experiences, those things that you want. Just visualize it in your memory. See yourself connecting in this shape of a symbol, in the Vesica Pisces symbol. Or even imagine this symbol in your mind's eye or in your heart. Imagine the symbol and then imagine that symbol filling with light and love because you want to ensure that this thing you're, or this person or this relationship you're attracting into your life is equally filled with love and light. And then pull that symbol down from the energy, from the high, you know, from above, from your visual memory, pull it down and bring it into the earth. Bring the above into the below. Imagine that symbol, that person, that relationship, that experience coming down from your thought process into your heart, into your emotions, down, down, down into the earth, the above to the below. And then once it has, you brought it here, seal it with your heart, seal it with love, and then wait for things to start popping in your life. I'm telling you, you have no idea the magical things that have been happening to me. And I want to share, please visualize this symbol, draw it somewhere, have it in your mind's eye, have it in your heart. You know, we are getting rid of loneliness and, and isolation. Loneliness is an illusion. Isolation can be a good thing. We are remembering to connect together in love because that is what we are. It's a beautiful life. And this is the time for union. This is the time for unity. This is the time for collaborations. This is the time of togetherness. We are coming together, all of us connecting heart to heart. And one way to do it is by using the Vesica Pisces symbol. I love you guys and keep connecting. It's just such a beautiful world. It's going to be great, guys. Mwah. Bye.